WWL-TV's Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. Based on the current forecast is that this event will be uh, more severe and of longer duration. But there is no need uh, for panic. Uh, we just need to make sure that we are aware of the situation. Well, the governor and the Army Corps of Engineers just gave an update on the saltwater wedge making its way up the Mississippi River, saying they're asking for a presidential disaster declaration. Now, that should bring more resources to bear on preventing the negative impacts of the saltwater. And that's where we begin this evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson, and we have a lot to get to this evening. Tonight, we have team coverage of the saltwater intrusion emergency. Meg Ferris has been looking into reports of people hoarding bottled water. And tonight, we have an update from Lower Plaquemines Parish all the way up to Vicksburg, where they're conducting emergency dredging right now. We start with Whitney Miller. She was there as the governor and other officials spoke to the media just a short while ago. Whitney. Yeah, Sharice, I was, and today the governor ended the meeting by asking the public to pray for rain. He says that's what's needed to stop this saltwater intrusion, but that's along with holding a meeting with several leaders in parishes that are surrounding the area to talk about how to mitigate some of the challenges that are on the way. And the main message is that there are several agencies and several things at work here behind the scenes to make sure that we can uh, address those challenges. Today we learned that the Corps of Engineers is going to try and slow down the progression of the wedge starting on Sunday. They will build up the underwater sill, adding 25 feet of height. That will slow the wedge down. They approximate about 10 to 15 days. With that, the Corps pro is providing the following projections for where and when the wedge will go. Uh, they say by October 13th, it should reach Bell Chase. By October 19th, it should reach St. Bernard. Uh, Algiers by October 22nd. Gretna by October 24th. West Jefferson by October 25th. And Carrollton by October 28th. East Jefferson by October 29th. The governor says while this is a serious situation, he doesn't want residents to be alarmed. We can just remember back to the beginning of COVID. Uh, and in March of 2020 and April of 2020, uh, how many times did we tell people you don't need to go and stock up on toilet paper? And the more they were told that, the more they heard, I better go get some toilet paper. Mm -hmm. The reason this is different is the entire state, much less the entire nation, is not involved in this issue. There is not a, shot a shortage of bottled water around the state or around the country. And Sharice, you know, as you mentioned, in the coming days, the governor says they will be requesting that federal emergency declaration. And the governor says that that will help to reimburse for some of the work that's already being done to slow down and stop this um, saltwater wedge that is coming up the Mississippi. For now, in New Orleans, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. Whitney, thank you for that update.